I feel like Santa Marta is often seen as a bit of a gateway city for tourists for a lot of popular sites nearby, like for example the Lost City Trek and Tyrona National Park. However, the city itself is definitely worth a visit. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Currently me and my boyfriend Rul are backpacking through South America and yesterday we arrived to a city called Santa Marta in Colombia. Yesterday we honestly didn't do much, we were quite tired after the night bus. We had some nice dinner as it was women's day and otherwise just chilled. We're staying in a really nice looking little hostel, we have a nice big private room with shared bathroom though but still it's very nice. And there's a pool. So far today we've honestly just been doing quite like administrative stuff. Well we did start the day with having some lovely breakfast which is included in our stay but after that I've been doing some editing and I scheduled a video and I've also been counting my finances a bit and doing that kind of stuff but now I've done all the obligatory tasks for today so for the rest of the day today I can just have fun and relax. The city of Santa Marta was founded in 1525 and it was one of the first Spanish settlements in Colombia. It's also the oldest surviving city in Colombia and today the city has a population of about half a million. We've been walking through the city a little bit and it looks so cute and colorful and now we've just come to the beach. This is actually my first ever time by the Caribbean beach. Well, technically I've been in Mexico when I was two years old, although I'm not even sure if we were by the Caribbean beach or not, but I don't really count that, so yeah. This is the actual first time for me and it's so beautiful.
so today Rul felt like having more of a relaxed day and I felt like having more of an active day. Or not like a super active day, but I did want to do something. So we decided to split a bit and he stayed in the hostel chilling and I came to a museum here in Santa Marta. The museum is called Museo del Oro Tairona. So I'm gonna go and check out that. And then I'm also planning on maybe visiting some cute cafe or something afterwards. museum was really nice and now before going to cafe I still wanted to come quickly to the promenade here because it's so nice yesterday we were here in the more like sunset the evening time so I wanted to come and have a look what it looks like now in the daytime and oh the water's so clear and it's so beautiful let me show you myself some mango juice and an almond croissant and I already tried the juice and it's really good the perfect thing for a hot day like this something I'm gonna miss when I'm back in Europe is all these fresh juices they're just on a whole nother level here let's try the croissant Ooh, it's warm It has some kind of filling in it too. Really, really good, especially because it's been warmed up. now the next day and as you can maybe see I am currently on a bus because today we are heading to our next destination which is Palomino that means I'm gonna end this video here I hope you have enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye